Today I'm going to be showing you how to configure Ethernet and serial interfaces using Cisco Packet Tracer as my medium. So the first order of business is to connect to the customer PC and use the terminal emulation software to access the router. So we're in here, so we need to go ahead and enter the password. And then we need to get into privileged exec mode. And now we're in privileged exec mode. What we need to do is we need to identify which interface to configure. So we're going to go ahead and look at interface fast ethernet zero slash zero. Oh, that's why I'm not in configure mode. So now I can do it. Interface. Alright, so we're in fast ethernet. Description. We're going to add a description to the interface. Connected to customer switch. All right, and we're going to go ahead and specify the IP address and subnet mask for this. IP address 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.0. And no shutdown to make sure it's enabled. end and we're going to go ahead and verify that that configuration went through so give me one second here and we're going to do that by doing show IP route all right checking it out here and this would be the one that we just set up right there so it looks like we are good to go so now we're going to go ahead and configure the other interface, which is a serial interface. So first thing we need to do is go ahead and get into the serial interface. Now first I need to get into configuration mode. Alright, and we're going to do one thing here. Give me one second. Alright, sorry about that. I uh, forgot which the name of the serial interface was. So what we need to do here is we're going to go ahead and get a description on this one as well. And the description we're using is connected to ISP. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a IP address and a subnet mask. And same as before, IP address 209.165.255.255.255. Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two two four. All right, make sure it's not. Make sure it's up and going, and then we're going to end configuration mode. So we are going to go ahead and use the show run command to verify that both those are working. Give me one second here, and the interface is good, the description is good, both the IP address and the subnet I set are good, and serial is also set up, good to go, and we're going to go ahead and use the ping command after I verify this all goes through, and we're going to use the ping command to just test everything else, ping, we're gonna go ahead and ping using the serial. We're gonna ping the serial connection. All 
All right, and it looks like all of the packets sent there was a success, and now we're going to ping the customer switch. Sorry about that, I accidentally hit enter way too soon. And it looks like that was also successful. So the last thing we need to do is, we're going to do the copy run start command to get everything set into stone that we just did. And we went ahead and got that saved. And it looks like we are good to go. All right, I thank you for watching my video on how to set up the different interfaces, including an Ethernet and a serial interface. And have a great day.